Hey guys, welcome to Asher's nursery tour. He's actually one year old now, so I'm not really sure if it's considered his nursery anymore, but I'm just gonna call it that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys his nursery. A lot of these decorations in his room, you will notice that we use for his birthday decorations, so the theme's kind of tied together. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start the tour. All right, so this is his front door, and we're walking on in. <laughs> so here's kind of like a little overview of his room. I'm gonna actually start over here to the left. This obviously is his closet. <laughs> right here, and this is, um, there's not really too much to see in here. I mean, these obviously are all his clothes. Down below, I'm not even gonna show you because it's just boxes of stuff that I've been packing away that he's grown out of. So yeah, we have all his clothes hung up there. And actually the bottom rack is the clothes that he has not yet grown into. Right to the left of that, we have his rocking chair. And we actually do use this. I know a lot of people go back and forth and say that, you know, you don't ever use it. But I, we read just, or we read Asher a book, like at least two to three books every night before he goes to bed. So I always sit in this rocker and read to him. This is actually the rocker that we got for when Aubrey was born. So on the rocker is the pillow that we found from Target. It says, always look on the bright side. I love that quote and the colors match his room perfectly. So it kind of worked out just perfect. So there's his rocker. We have his window right here with the valances, the navy blue valances. These actually worked out perfectly as well because when he takes a nap I just pull these clothes and they block out so much light so when it's daytime and he's taking a nap it's perfect that he doesn't have to be blinded by the light while he's trying to sleep right below that I just have like a it's an Aztec crate that we just I found this at Home Goods, and I have a lot of his blankets in here. These are the top one is the blanket that he sleeps with, and then there's just a couple other blankets in there. But that's what we have below the windows. And then to the left of that, we have his crib right here. We have his monitor sitting right here, as you can see, and I need to get that kind of like up here. But he doesn't bother with it, so we kind of still have it sitting there. But that's definitely something that we're, we need to get attached to the ceiling. Right here is his owl light. He sleeps with us at night. It also has like the sound waves in it. It makes, I think we actually use, let me turn it on. Yeah, it has a night light on it and then it makes, it's kind of like a heartbeat and it sounds like rain mixed together. You can mix them together and make different sounds. And then right here, it shines like stars on the ceiling, which is really cool at nighttime. But it gives off the perfect light, little night light for him. So I really like that. And then here is his crib. His sheets are turquoise, navy blue, and gray, which we got these from Babies R Us. And then I also have the breathable crib bumpers, which I technically don't really need to use these, but he usually just pushes them down but they're there and you know they're there just in case I kind of actually like them because when he loses his binky they don't they won't fall out so basically that's kind of like a good alternative to them <laughs> all right over here this is actually was Aubrey's and this is the Einstein the baby Einstein attaches to the crib if you just press this little star it lights up and the little fish and the turtles, they all swim around and they also make like an ocean sound. He also sleeps with this at night as well, but this will turn off after about like, I think 20 minutes. So, and then it'll just have that on there. Above his crib, I have this, his sign that says obviously his name. I actually made this along with my husband. I just got the wood and stained it black. And then my husband kind of like glued them together and used, I'm not really sure what it's called. He used kind of like staples to kind of staple it together. And then we just printed out some paper in the size that we wanted, in the font that we wanted, and cut it out and we put it on there and then we just put nails, which I'll kind of give you a little closer look of it. Those are all like little tiny nails and we just nailed it around, pulled the paper off, got the color string that we wanted, and then we just weaved the string, no particular way. And I think it turned out pretty cool. 
So that's above his crib. Moving on over, this right here basically houses all his toys that he has in his room right now. I got this at Home Goods. I love this that you can see in it, and he loves it too because this is where he's always going in and pulling all his toys out. I have his books in the middle, kind of like some play toys there in this bin. And then over here, just the same, like some toys that he likes to play with. This is Mr. Potato Head, and this is actually used to be Aubrey's, and she always brings it in here, so I kind of just left it in here. This right here was also Aubrey's, but it's kind of something that he likes to play with, so I brought it in here. Right above that, sorry, you guys can hear my cat in the background. <laughs> right above that, I just have these little hook. Um, this was also purchased at Target, and it kind of has like the Aztec theme with it. I just have his giraffe on here and one of his hats on here, and I just thought it looked cute right above there. I kind of want to do something above, like here's this, and I kind of wanted to put something up here. But I'm not really sure if that's like cluttering it up or what. So right now, we're just leaving it plain. So right here we have his hamper and a garbage can. Then here is his dresser. We got this at Ikea. And basically, I'm not going to go through every single drawer. But basically, we have like his socks, his t-shirts and shorts. I don't, oh, all his onesies, his pants, pajamas. Just some other random stuff. These are all the clothes that he has not yet grown into. And down here I just keep like his diapers and extra diapers, extra wipes and such. So we have his changing pad. Changing, changing pad? I'm not even sure. I you would think I would know all the terminology of all this, but I don't. So this right here we got at Baby Laras and it is so soft. It goes once again with like the Aztec theme. It is the softest changing cover ever. And I know a lot of people when I watch their tours, they say that you don't use these. I use these all the time. Asher loves to like just spin around and go crazy when I put him on here. He'll actually let me change his diaper. So that's why I use that. We have his diaper caddy. His diapers, I have like cream in here, diaper rash cream, and his wipes. This is just a little picture of him from his first birthday party. And then right up here, this is just like a little pig that I thought was cute. It um, was from the bee company. It has a little string and you can pull it, but I thought it looked really cute up there. Another picture that I took of him in this frame. You can't really see because of the light. I'm going to try, but I don't know how. There we go. Here's this one that I took of him and then that one. And they kind of all just went with our theme, the turquoise and the navy blue. Above that, I have this sign that says, I love you to the moon and back. And I always love that saying. And I bought that for Aubrey's room and it never really like worked out to go in her room anywhere. And then I was doing Asher's room and I thought it looked really cute up there. Right here, we have like these little triangles. And I'm actually missing one because I used them for Asher's birthday party decorations and I'm guessing one of them is still at my mom's house. It's just that size, a little smaller, and then the one that goes there is a lot smaller. I don't have anything in them right now, but I don't know. I think they look nice without stuff, but I might try and put something in them. I'm not really sure. But this is kind of like an overview of what it looks like over top of his dresser. So there's that. And then obviously his diaper pail, which obviously all his diapers go in. And this is the back to the front door. And don't mind that. We're actually leaving for a trip and we have a mess. So I'm just going to give you guys a little overview of his room. And there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the room tour. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I actually want to do a room tour for Aubrey, but I haven't gotten around to it. Her room's kind of still in shambles. I'm not really sure how we're going to decorate that. So whenever it is ready and it is decorated, I will definitely do a room tour for her. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks.